In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down, <coughs> excuse me, a match coverage that you can utilize that is going to help you defend a uh, bunch tight end in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to my channel. Also, I wanted to let you know about my Patreon. If you're not a member yet, I would ask you to consider joining. The reason why, it's only $10 a month, and it allows you to get access to all of my Madden 22 uh, offensive and defensive guides. We've got 15 offensive and defensive guides that you'll gain immediate and unlimited access to. You'll also be able to uh, you also be able to get access to all the updates to those ebooks. Any new stuff that we're going to be releasing over the course of the next couple of weeks. We typically release new stuff in the Patreon pretty much every week. So if you want to get access to all of that for just one low price of ten dollars, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. Okay, guys, let's talk about bunch tight end and why it is so hard to defend and then also uh, give you some practical tools on how to defend it so what makes bunch tight end so good well, we're in the chicago playbook we're gonna be taking a look at the cover six out of the uh nickel 245 odd now what's cool about this nickel 245 odd is the fact that you have this guy right here um that is going to be kind of your key player uh, in the defense. The reason why is it's going to help us significantly uh, with containing the quarterback. It's also going to allow us uh, to have some tools in our tool belt in terms of coverage uh, within the formation. So we're going to be taking a look at the cover six. Now notice here real quick, really quick, right off the bat, I just want you to notice that if we just contain, if we just crash our line uh, and contain and we can go ahead and spread our linebackers, notice that I can't double team that linebacker. So what I can do is I can Go ahead and block my tight end and slide to the right. But what you're going to notice here is that linebacker will oftentimes kind of be a little bit of a hedge defender for the quarterback. Now, uh, what you can also do with this is you can go ahead and actually manually move him to the outside. So you see how I just kind of manually uh, popped him outside. That's going to, again, just help with the double team logic. And what you'll see is now he kind of, you know, sheds off the contain just like that right there. So that's kind of piece A or point A uh, with this. Obviously, what you want to do with this is make sure that with, with everything that you can have a reasonable chance to contain. And I think that's one of the keys because if they can do that right there, um, that's what makes bunch tight end so hard to guard. Uh, that's literally number one thing that makes bunch tight end hard to guard is the fact that they can do they can do what, what they just did. So that's kind of point A. And again, all you want to do is, I mean, you could even drop this guy in a zone. Uh, you just need primarily this guy on the contain. Um, so just slide this guy out a little bit, just like that, if you want to. And then, of course, go ahead. You can press coverage, and you've got a cover six. But you've also now got, um, as you can see, just one-on-ones. -on You're going to get instant sheds if they try to roll out, which is critical. Okay? So that's kind of point A or point, uh, you know, just kind of the first piece of this uh, puzzle of putting together the defense. Now, the secondary thing is notice really quickly that we have – the ability to put this cornerback on this side of the field into an outside quarter. Now, what that is going to do for the defense is it is going to basically make it so that the defense will be much, much more, um, it will just be more successful uh, in terms of its ability to defend the tight end. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if we inside quarter the safety, outside quarter the corner, and then let's say we drop um Let's say we drop the middle linebacker there into a, a, a curl flat, a curl flat style zone. So we just my play artist glitched classic EA. But anyways, what you'll notice now is let's say we put a tight end post out there. I want you just to watch the quarter zone on the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen. Notice that he's going to run with that guy and do some pass off logic for us to be able to turn this into a really good coverage. It's not the only thing he's going to do, but it is something that you can kind of bank on that you do have going for you in this cover six uh, style defense. Now, another thing that we can do outside of just putting this guy in the outside quarter zone, another reason why that is really valuable uh, within, this, within this defense is what it also does for us is it allows us to be able to say uh, to, you know, this guy right here in the middle of the field, hey, we're gonna user you, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and blitz our user now we have two contains on the field, but we also can go ahead and bluff blitz our nose tackle, and that'll give us that three rec hook defender. Now the reason this is important is because in PA boot over, since we have this outside quarter and we've got some decent contain there, notice that that outside quarter is going to be kind of right in the area 
to potentially knock that out or knock that throw out to uh, Scotty Miller. Now, again, just show you again, just spread, spread, you know, just kind of get these guys out here just like so. Uh, but what you can also do is let's say, for example, that you're not too worried about the rollout for whatever reason, um, or you just want to be a little bit different in terms of your approach to this. Go ahead and outside quarter Williams, purple zone uh, Von Miller there, the linebacker. You're going to go with a little bit more of a traditional um, a traditional quarters type of look here. So you see we just basically recreated uh, quarters, if you will. You're going to be using right in here. You can shoot the gaps uh, and all that with the run. But the beauty of this is that you've got decent contain. You don't have great contain, but you have decent contain. But your coverage on that crosser is really, really, really good. They're going to have to be able to put it into such a fine little window uh, for them to even be able to have a chance uh, at stopping this. Now, another thing that you can do is you can go ahead, if you want to, you can actually shift the line to the right and almost turn this into an overload to that side. So you see here, this is kind of like an overload, if you will, uh, type of animation. The only reason why I'm showing this is it also is going to be much better for the run. And notice you're going to get some A-gap pressure to kind of force that guy to stay in the pocket. Notice the safety deep half is going to be really effective as well for uh, defending the, the deep bomb there or the deep post. Now, when it comes to defending the deep bomb out of this formation, I want to give you one little tip that I think is absolutely really, really important. What you want to do whenever you're defending the bomb is you want to go ahead and take, so you've got your, your kind of your standard setup for contain here where you just slide this guy out kind of like that to get some decent contain. But the next thing that you want to do is you want to take this, um, this vertical hook defender and actually man him up on the tight end. Now that's going to help with the tight end post. It's also though going to help with the, a lot of the bomb concepts that you're going to get out of this formation. From there, all you're going to do is take your safety on the right side, put him in inside quarter, and obviously you're going to be using usering over the middle of the field here. But what you're going to notice is with the tight end blocks, he's going to go into man coverage on that guy, which is basically going to tell that inside quarter your responsibility is now the post. And as you can see, he takes this away. The two four five odd, three three five odd, uh, both of those defenses together, uh, in combination with some of the other stuff we talk about over the Patreon can help significantly with contain, but it also helps significantly with uh, pass rush and cover. So when you can master the cover six and really uh, utilize that cover six as your base match coverage, it really can open up the realm of possibilities. So if you want to learn more about cover six or quarter, quarter, half coverage, how it works in match, how it works formation to formation, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. We cover a lot more in detail how this coverage works, how you can actually adjust easily out of it, formation to formation, and really kind of craft a defense that is very adaptable to anything that the offense does. So if you're still watching the video and you want to check out the Patreon, there is a link in the description. You can sign up today for just $10 a month. And for just $10 a month, you're going to get access to everything. All my Madden eBooks, all my pro player film studies, all my updates that we release pretty much every week, you will have access to all of that. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, just head on down to the description of the video, click the link down there, and go check out the Patreon.